I'm so tender. I'm so tender, dick. <laughs> Nigga, listen. Oh Bro, how you tender? You got more than one. No, 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 no. Oh. If you say that on this camera, listen. At the end of the day, listen. Uh, I love deeply. Have you ever sat in the cell by yourself? Yeah. Nigga, have you, nigga, I sat in the cell by myself and jacked out for years, so I, I, I so jacked listen. Out for years. Yeah, so at the end of the day. Bro, so look, I'm like, come on, bro, because when you in jail, bro, it's not easy to just jack off. No, I, I was in a single cell for eight months, nine months. Oh, okay. I was in a single cell for nine months. Hey, just got shot. Uh, I played the crazy role. I'm scared of everybody. And they put me in a single cell. For real? Mm hmm. <laughs> you, yeah, you I finessed the system. Just by yourself? Huh? Just but then, then, then County is the best place to get in single cell because they got a TV. I ain't know. Damn, I ain't know that. They got cable like, too. Den, yeah, Den County was not. It, it looked like an old school prison. Den yeah. County looked like prison, mm -hmm. but but it wasn't bad. It just like I just saying, it's fucking jail. You know what I mean? What do you mean it's fucking jail? Huh? What do you mean? It's jail, bro. Mm -hmm. in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right too. Nah, but uh, being tender, bro, because it is a lot of tender niggas out here. You know what I'm saying, like. All right, you you said before we the camera cut on you the biggest P in the in the music industry. I'm right? a P and the tender. You P and, and tender, yeah. Right. I'm both. It's, nigga, I ain't trying to go hand in hand. I ain't got to pick a side. It's like my barber go tell my barber Ricky when I would get my cut hair cut by Ricky. He's get mad when everybody else cut my head. And I say, bro, I ain't got one bitch, so I got to have one barber. So why you cut my boy off when he cut your music hair? Uh, not that. Let me tell you, it just got too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, Rick is a hundred dollars a cut. Rick, Rick a hundred dollars a cut. And, and, and I and yeah, Rick a hundred dollars a cut, so I went back down to the forty dollar cuts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes Ricky used to get mad by uh oh, they ain't getting this support. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, okay. okay listen, sometimes sometimes you gotta cut out. Sometimes Ricky used to get mad by, you know, uh sometimes I couldn't afford it all the time. <laughs> Bro, yeah, I, I, I spent this $100 on Bro, I went in there and we hit that hoe, had his first, gave his first haircut. I got hit the hoe $500, cut his first head. $500? As a matter of fact, I gave the dude, a dude $500 and let hit the hoe try out his cut on his head. That was the first haircut uh, hit the hoe did. Now, hit the hoe charge $100 a head. Hit that as $100 a cut? Yeah. Are we paying for the name at this point? Yeah. Man, so, like, all right, so look. I'm glad we, cause I fuck with hit that. I ain't gonna lie, his face been looking straight. I, I be liking the face, mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. It's not about hit that. Is it okay to like? How do you charge for your name, bro? Like what? Like where did that go? Like, cause are you popular in rainwater. You got uh, to, to come. Niggas is bigger groupers than hoes. So what that mean? I realize it. I realize, especially in the rap game, let's just go and jump down into it. Especially in the rap game. I know for the last couple years or two, people have been excited by seeing people with this large amount of money with these necklaces on and, and stunning around in the videos and Instagram, they for the guy they was on, right? Yeah. And people have been grouping to them like, you look like you on, so I'm gonna attach my st name to you. A lot of niggas want to attach their names to other niggas, so, uh, such as promoters in Dallas. They're paying niggas to come down here to make more money than them, mm -hmm. right? Not all promoters. I mean, just mostly uh, Dallas Elite. Shout out to Big Boogie. My boy, yeah. big, my boy Big Boogie made more than them. Off the theory. Yeah, yeah. I Man, uh, they I like. Big Boogie. I, I respect Big Boogie. Yeah. A hell of a I, 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 I like Big Boogie, Big, Big Boogie, my partner. Shout out to Ken, Coach King Merck. This, bro. Like, I ain't speaking on Dallas Elite. I don't know well, about that. Yeah. That, that, yeah. But people in Dallas, they And I love Dallas Elite. I love that as you too. Like, I, like I'm not talking about I got that. free 28, 28 clothes and everything from them. You got free 28, 28 clothes? Yeah. You know what 28, 28 told me last night for anybody? $2,000. I mean, yeah. Yeah, what? She is got, it worth 28? Is it, is it worth $2,000? Let me tell you like this. Is it worth No, no, no. Let me tell you like this. I see a return on my investment. I would have broke. I, if, if, if she can come to an interview with me for $2,000, you listen, I'll give you $2,000 because I'm going to break you down. She know a lot of people's business. A lot of people just go open up, to go to that shop and just tell, I, you know how I mean? don't be in the sitting in the shop? Yeah, but I'm saying though, but you, I, I, you know the people that I need to ask about. So listen, do you know how many niggas just sit there and pillow talk to hoes all day long? To be cool? So, so you can't ask her nothing about the rap, you ask her about her story. I'm like, she don't. I, I, no, 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 I understand what I'm saying. You gonna ask her the stuff like, you ask a rapper or somebody influencer, you ask her about her story. And I believe if she just get to talk about her story, she gonna say, she gonna say, she, she know, she have heard a lot of conversations. Man, how many conversations do you think I fucking heard? 
I know, but we, no, 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 but, no, no, but we talking about this innocent chocolate, nice looking woman. Man, innocent is crazy. Yeah. Nah, uh, uh, <laughs> damn. We gonna move forward, bro. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, uh, obviously, you got a crush on her. You got some free twenty eight, twenty eight, and I know she wants. Nah, to nah. I, I actually, uh, she's still trying to get her money for it, but uh, 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 uh cur <laughs> courtesy of uh. Courtesy of uh, Dallas Elite, you know what I'm saying? Because they were really Fredo Bank clothes. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. man, you stole Fredo shit. I didn't steal Fredo shit. We paid him for a show and they tried to get him the money for the show, but Fredo, Fredo left before I gave it to him, so I just put it on. Ah, uh, oh, that was for you to get the Fredo. Yeah, but see, I lost my money too, so I'm I. I'm saying, like, okay, so, like, what do you. I, I, so, my thing is, you give a, a rapper you don't know free clothes. Right. That they never wear. Like, I ain't gonna lie. That, it, it, you probably not gonna, you might wear it, but like, you ain't gonna never take a picture of my city tag. But, mean, but, but that's why I say the city of Dallas is made up of groupies, so like I say, last, I know, but that's, like that's why I say I like to be on the outside. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, that was pissing me off lately. Yeah? Fuck the right. No, 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 no. These niggas don't even, bro, they're, 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 I ain't gonna lie, that's a lot of niggas that popular in the city, you know what I'm saying? These niggas, yeah, your, your neighborhood know you, but you can't even go on the other side of town and niggas know you. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, my platform really be, Putting niggas on to the whole city, like a nigga you grew up in North Dallas or whatever. Now, nigga in South Dallas might see you on Dallas Global, now they fucking with you because you never been in South Dallas because you stay in North Dallas and you ain't never been nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? Or the rainwater talking about you now, and now shit, nigga, all these different people. I like them little sneaky rappers. Them, like who? Them little musty rappers. Them little musty niggas. That, <laughs> listen, the worst thing you could, the worst thing I don't, I'm scared of, and the worst thing you can deal with it in, in Dallas, Texas, is a musty nigga with a gun. <laughs> Bro, it's a lot of musty niggas. With, guns. with them Dallas drill niggas, I ran into a, a musty motherfucker yesterday. <laughs> And that nigga had a gun on him. I'm terrified. He's a, he ain't got shit to lose. And listen, so, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, yeah, that shit was insane. Yeah, yeah, but at the end of the day, uh, a rapper with no money, an up -and coming rapper with no money, who just living their life, is making more noise than the niggas with the money. Mm -hmm. So that's obviously what we've been trying to say is the city of Dallas loves drama. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, they love it. They love it. So, now, it's funny because I made a post like this and 240 was calling me talking about I was being messy. Uh, he said I'm dividing the city. What'd you say? Uh, it was a post that I took from Facebook that basically said if the Dallas Drill rappers get on before the new Dallas rappers, they moving out of the city. And another, another oh, nigga coming on the motherfucker said you might well pack your bags because them young niggas doing numbers. They doing numbers? It, that, they, that people actually listen, listen they are doing organically numbers and they not based off no money. Yeah. Listen, when you starting the game as being the nigga that carry the big money around and wearing a designer. You gotta keep up that image. You have no you you already your image already top. You you can't go no farther. Up. Nah, so, see, I disagree with that. Name one rapper that's been successful came in the game before he got signed with a chain. That made it. Dog. No, in Dallas. Man, Dallas ain't. No, 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 what I'm saying, but Dallas, name one. I don't know. I don't know. You, you, you can't. You can't. They go to the feds. Wait, what, did Yellow Beasy have a chain? No. Him, Mo3, and, Ye and, and Freddie got their first chain. The fans seen them grow. Yeah. Like, like sometimes people want to see you grow with it because at the end of the day, so the, look, them little, Dallas, them little Dallas drill niggas, I believe they are going to make it farther because people are watching them grow. And I had a conversation with a top executive yesterday that was kept calling about them. I'm hearing phone calls about the Dallas drill niggas every day. Um, they're talking about killing and they're talking about this and that. But once the first one get a million dollars, or a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars, then he gonna start talking about money. Then he gonna start fucking bitches. So then he gonna start talking about the bitches he fuck. And then he gonna start talking about the cars he drive and the mansions he got. So the fans gonna see them grow. Well, we growing with them. Right. You know what I'm saying? The average broke nigga that's 15 years old see a nigga from Dallas with all this money, they not gonna relate to him and go look at him like they did with Big Chief. Like we can't grow with you. 